Hi there, I'm Paul Park, and I'm just going to reply back to some of the questions that have been left for me online. How was logistics for Haas, a team with three major facilities across three different countries, different from other F1 teams? Obviously, we have facilities here based in Bambury. We've got Haas USA based in Canopolis, and we've got Haas Italia uh, based over in Italy. Um, so it is quite challenging having the three facilities that we ship from, uh, primarily because of the time zones. Uh, so when it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon here, it's 8 o'clock in the morning in America. And also try to work in with the different customs procedures, for the import and export paperwork, and the planning that it takes. Because we need to be a step ahead to make sure that everything we ship from Italy or America arrives at the same time as a freight would arrive from the UK. So it is quite challenging, but it's time critical. We've just got to plan well ahead and make sure that everything kind of fits together and all arrives at the same time and hopefully in the same place. Do you travel with a team for every race or do you work based at the factory slash office? Uh, I am based primarily in the factory, working in Banbury. Um, I don't really travel much with the team. We've got a separate, there are separate people at trackside who do the trackside logistics. So when all the kit arrives that we've sent from here for our uh, vendors, they will assemble it, put it up, and then when the race is finished, as soon as that checker flag goes, it's everything's getting dismantled, packed up again, and moved on to the next race. Please explain your journey into this field. My background primarily is I was in the oil and gas industry for about 15 to 18 years, uh, working up in Aberdeen in Scotland. Uh, and I've always wanted to work in Formula One. That's been my dream since I was a teenager. And when I saw the job advertised at Haas, um, I'd actually said to my partner back home that my dream job was on a website and I was going to apply for it. So I applied for it on a Friday. This was last year. And within seven days, I went from application to job offer. And then obviously being given this opportunity to work in this industry and doing logistics a job that I loved doing. It was really a difficult decision, but one that I could not, I could not take. So yeah, it was, um, my career is oil and gas related, but always logistics. So I've just taken that from oil well tools into racing cars. So yeah, very thankful to work at Haas. From which GP event to the next, do you utilize the most modes of transport, i.e. cars, planes, trains, and boats? That would probably be from the Australian Grand Prix. Obviously, it's the furthest one afield that we send freight to, and it's very, very challenging putting stuff across there. So the stuff will leave here from Banbury on the back of a truck. It will then go to the airport. We will get transferred from the airport, the truck onto the plane, over to Australia, get disembarked at Australia Airport, and then onto trucks and then taken to the circuit. And then again, it'll just get set up from the guys at the truck side. Once the race is finished, it gets disassembled, loaded back onto trucks, back to the airport, on the plane, and then back to the UK. Does Banbury act as your central replenishment station all season long, or do you have access to a global warehouse network? Banbury is our primary location, but as I said, we've got locations in America and in Italy, but everything kind of comes through. This is the main hub. Uh, we also use a lot of vendors that we get stuff sent in from, or we'll ship directly from to, uh, from there to each event where it's needed. But yeah, primarily everything will come, come into Banbury, it will get booked in here by the, the stores team, and then it will get um, distributed accordingly, and then it will get packed in the freight and off to the race. Lovely accent, where are you from? I was born and, born and bred in Aberdeen in Scotland, and I've lived there all my life until last year when I got offered the job with Haas and I've relocated down here and um, stayed in Banbury for a year and now I'm, I'm out with Banbury but I've still got my, my girlfriend back home, still got a house and that back home so I try and get home once a month if I can uh, and just spend a bit of time back home and in familiar surroundings but yeah I'm from Aberdeen in Scotland, beautiful God's country. What is your favourite part of working with the team throughout the season? The whole season is good. I mean, it's good when the race team are back here. 
and there's a lot of good camaraderie within the team. Because we're quite a small team as well, there's not there's not a lot of distance. So everybody kind of gets mucked in and helps each other up and we get back in. Everybody's in, getting the trucks all loaded, getting the freight in, making sure it's all okay, etc. But um, yeah, I can't really say there's much bad much bad things about working in working in Haas. Everybody's just fantastic. It's really good. Hello, Paul. Please tell me where you obtained the amazing suit you wore to the Christmas party. Uh, I actually bought this suit in 2019 when my girlfriend and me were in Budapest in the winter time, and I bought it to wear at my then works Christmas party. But obviously, um, COVID kind of struck, and that kind of got kiboshed. So it's been sitting in my wardrobe for about three years. And then we had our Christmas party this year. When I was back home, I vowed if I still fit in this suit, then I would wear it to the staff party. And lo and behold, yeah, I still still fitted in the suit. So yeah, it was it was kind of funny. It was that it was quirky. It stood out. How far out do you ship equipment to fly away races? Well, our furthest race that we ship to is Australian Grand Prix. So that would be our, that's our furthest Grand Prix that we ship from. Um, so yeah, Australian one. What are your duties when the team is not racing? December to the March period. Uh, when the race of all, when season finished, um, that's kind of our really busy time. Because all the equipment has got to come back. It gets serviced, it gets repaired. So when the kit comes back after the race, it's all got to get unpacked. It's all got to get checked by the mechanics etc and then they get shipped away to the various companies that we use to supply our equipment so we ship places america back to italy uk based so yeah it's quite a it's quite a busy time between the end of the season and the beginning of this season and then we've got car build at the start of the following year which is always hectic as well so it's never a there's never a quiet moment in the formula one and do you have multiple sets of gear that move a couple of weeks ahead and then a core set example cars that move each week or is it just one big globe crossing circus yeah we have got several several sets of kit that we send via sea freight throughout the year so we've got six sets of kit that will travel around the world at various will leave you to various points throughout the year and obviously they'll come back at various times in the year as well to be replenished, serviced, etc. Um, but we also have air freight that does the majority of all, all of our flyaway events. Um, so again, that will leave from here, be trucked to the airport, onto the plane, and then on the, the final destination. Uh, for our European races, we will use road freight and we'll use the, the Haas trucks. So they'll pick up from Banbury and then they'll go to whatever destination in Europe. They'll do the event stripped down again, packed up, and then onto the next event within Europe. We also use our, we've got a lot of courier vans that we use as well. So the kit will get left here, um, but we'll go to the event. If there's any damage during the weekend, then we can use a courier to pick it up from trackside and take it to either back to Banbury or if it's going to our facility in Hasitalia for repair, it'll be taken across there. Thank you for your questions. I was asked me anything. I hope I gave you some great insight into the, my role at MoneyGram Haas F1 team.